Hello and welcome everyone, Benny from BennyBreak702 here. Same handle as on IG and on eBay. eBay, where you're about to find these PSA cards. All right, so I'll go over some timelines before I start doing the reveal. Uh, these were shipped out to uh, PSA March 6th. They went through gradient on April 9th, went to assembly on the 16th, revealed and shipped out on the 17th, and arrived on Friday the 19th. And that is the timeline. So let's get to the reveal. I don't slow roll, I just show. That's what I do. So first card is going to be, and these are in random order because that's how PSA packs them. We have Andrew Painter, a first first, first edition, first Bowman, PSA 10. Carson Williams, Tory Pines grad. Whoa, granted he went to Tory Pines way after I did. Uh, got his Bowman draft here, or 2022 draft. Uh, PSA 9 on the sky blue to 499. Matt Mervis, he looked like he was going to make the team. Um, probably won't be making the Cubs at all unless they need a DH. Uh, PSA 10 on the blue moon from Topps Cosmic. That's a really cool looking card. A uh, Shohei Otani Japan. Oh, this is a 10. Okay, so this is a 10. PSA 10 right there of him hitting. Japanese edition. Christopher Morell on the gold star. This is one of the cards I don't agree with. It's a 9. It looks pretty good in the slab. It still looks centered. Um, I got to figure out if it's worth cracking out or not. Or just sell it as is and just take my loss. And then the big card. 1952 Tops Refractor of Mickey Mantle, PSA 10 from 2008. That's a banger. Put that one right there. I'm going to put a big number on that card, um, like $17.5 million. Maybe not that much, but put a big number on it because that's the only way I'm going to get rid of it. I like the card. I think it's really cool. That was an eBay buy, by the way. Uh, 2023 Topps Chrome Ultraviolet. I thought this was going to gem, but looking in the slab, I do agree with it. It is set up a little bit high. And on the back, one of these corners looked questionable. This one. So I do agree with the grade 9 there. Corbin Keller Youthquake got a 10. Tristan Cassis Purple got a 10. Did really well with those purples. As you'll see with this Volpe, Volpe got a 10. We'll put Volpe up there. I'm not a Yankee fan, but respect them. This one here I thought was pretty good. Um, got the 9, um, but then when I look at it, again, it is sitting high. And one of these corners was at, this one was actually a little dinged. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. I um, was actually surprised by that, but I'm surprised I missed that. Uh, gold Morel 9. This was a 9-10 for me. Got the 9. Jackson Cheerio Spotlight got a PSA 10. Uh, my guy Gilk for sports cards. He's probably great about 17 of these. I think he's got 17 9. So <laughs> Gilk, I'm one for one. Uh, talk about Jackson Cheerio. Here's a Leaf Auto that got a 9. It's a really cool card. It's this acetate see-through as you can see. Oh, let me show the grade actually. But yeah, right there. Uh, Jacob Marcy, I thought he was going to be the, our opening day center fielder, um, and I thought they were going to put Jackson Merrill left. They did not do that. Um, that's why I'm not a GM of the Padres, but I got the auto right here as a 10. This is going to be the hold. Um, he's struggling right now, although he was Arizona Fall League MVP last year, but struggling a little bit right now in the minors. Uh, next is going to be Adley. Oh, I okay, got both Adleys. So both these got nines. Um... I thought they were gems, but then when I got the cards, took a closer look. Both have the top left corners are a little white. Everything else is pretty good, but, you know, got nine, deserved a nine. I think a gem should be a true gem. I'm not one of those who are going to bitch and moan about it because I think that's a nine. Sorry. I know people would be like, oh, well, it should be a ten. This is a ten. Uh, blue refractor of the update debut card for Josh Young. This card I'm going to hold on to for a little bit. He's hurt again. Um, but I think there's tons of potential right there with them. Talk about someone who doesn't have a ton of potential, <laughs> Drew Jones. Uh, Bowman Platinum, uh, Mint 9. He's on the struggle bus in the minors. Man, I thought he was going to be a stud. Uh, Devers SP, 
uh, from Holiday. Got the PSA 9. Uh, deserved. Deserved. It is, it is slightly, well, if you look at this way to the left. Corbin Carroll on the um, uh, Easter Holiday Foil uh, PSA 9. Um, when I measured it, it was right on tolerance. They didn't go with me. Again, that's fine. It's, you know, a true gem should be a gem. An SP, S, SP of Mookie Betts Holiday with the bow and the Santa belt, PSA 10. That is, uh, that is on there. Pretty good one. Nolan Schoenel got the PSA 10 on the um, Holiday uh, foil. Shohei Otani, this is the pitching Jap Japanese card. Got a 9. I was hoping to get a 10, obviously. Obviously, I want at least a 10. Logo Nohapi, Purple Auto, got the 10. This thing looked beautiful. So, got the 10. Here, let's take out uh, Mookie. Let's put him up there. Marcy on the blue got a nine. Not really worth anything right now. Griffey blueprint got a nine, and I understand why this corner is not the best on the front. I don't know why I sent it in. Dominguez, this got a nine. I measured it when I got it back, and it actually measured off centered. Um, complete miss on my part. The one time I don't measure a card, and I have this little centering tool that I use, the centering tool. Um, and, uh, yeah, didn't jump. Zach Geloff. Oh, that's right, Aqua. Got a 10. I was kind of hoping he was going to be good. He's off to a slow start. Uh, I said he's going to be an all-star this year. I'm looking like an idiot. Marco Luciano is uh, back to the majors. PSA 10. Good timing because that's on the auction block. And the last stack. Another Z Zach Geloff. Another Zach Geloff gem mint 10. Another Zach Geloff hopefully turns around card. Shohei Mega Box from last year, PSA 10. These actually go for a good bit. I pack pulled this, so I decided to take a chance and worked out. Uh, home Field Advantage, PSA 9. Um, there's a little foil missing. It's on like all of them. And I guess it depends on the grader you get because everything else about this card is solid. Just that little part right there. I've seen some get 10s and I've seen some get 9s. I took a gamble because that's what I do and got a 9. Yoshida, Japanese card, got a 10. Dominguez on the 89 throwback got a PSA 10. I'm going to hold on to this until he gets closer to returning. Colton Kowser, this is on the auction block. Green Crackle Foil Board because that's not long enough to say. PSA 10. Uh, this is number to 499. It's number 242. It's about how many home runs he'll hit this year. Henry Davis. I thought this guy was going to be a stud. He thought he was going to be a stick. And right now he's kind of a stick in the mud. Hopefully he turns it around. But got the Aqua PSA 10. Corbin Carroll Aqua got a 9. I'm really good at getting Corbin Carroll Cup Card 9s. Again, just a little bit off-centered. But they got me for it. And that's what they're supposed to do. Tory Pines grad, PSA 10. This is on the auction block. Uh, Bowman first, sky blue refractor. It'll probably be called up this September. Uh, this one got a 9. I measured it. It looked awesome. What I missed is there's a line right there. And that's what they dinged me for. There's also a line. Uh, it's very, very, it's even more faint than that one. But yeah, the rest of the card's solid, but deserves a 9, so it's got the 9. Tristan Casas, a gold, got the uh, gold star, I should say, got the 10. Riley Green on the uh, winter S or holiday SP, got a 10. Jackson Holiday got a PSA 10. Bad timing, because he's hitting like half his weight. Hopefully he turns it around. Nelson Velasquez Auto got a 9 on the Refractor Auto. And last but not least, Ezekiel Tovar Auto. I knew this kid was going to be a stud, and he is playing like one right now. This got a PSA 10. I do have two other Ezekiel Tovar Autos I'm sending in on Monday to get those done. One's an aqua, and the other one is a purple. So those should do well. All right, let's push these off to the side, and let's get my little whiteboard out to shine, show you the final numbers. What should I expect and everything else? All right, so let me get this up here. 
make sure I don't ruin anything that is displayed back there. Okay, so total investment. Investment is the price of the card plus the grading fees, shipping, and all that was eleven eighty eight seventy four. Projected sales of twenty three thirty five. An ROI after eBay fees is 66.9%. Uh, gem rate is 26 out of 45, which was 58%. A lot of those pack, a lot of those cards that were pack pulled were ones that I thought were iffy. I decided to send them in because it only cost me really 50 cents. So that's what I count towards the investment side. So probably should have been a 35, 40 card order instead, but decided to take some gambles. That's what you do. Uh, of the 45 cards, 30 were from eBay, 57% gem rate, 60% gem rate from the 15 that were pack pulled. This took from March 6th, when is when I sent it in, to April 19th when I got to my front door here in Las Vegas. 44 total days if I did my math right, and I probably did not. But anyway, took a couple weeks. 44 days is not bad. The other order that I sent in two or three weeks prior showed up the same day by the way, on Friday the 19th. That one uh, that one was sent in on February 21st. So to get an order in very fast is always good. It seems like they're being a little quicker. Um, I have three orders with them right now. Two are in grading. One is about to get into grading probably next week. And then like I said, on Monday, I'm sending another order about 35, 40 cards in uh, to get graded. So if you like any of these cards, and hopefully you do, um, eBay link is in the description below. Again, some of these are going to be PC cards I'm going to hold on to. Uh, the Mantle, I don't know what to do with that one. I love that card. I'm thinking about just throwing a big number out there, and if someone pays it, they can have it. Um, it's a pop, I think 17, maybe 20. So it's a pretty, pretty good card. But uh, the rest of the order should be uh, should be on eBay. Uh, if you like this video, awesome. I appreciate it. Again, on eBay, it's Benny Breaks 702 That is a username. It is not a store. Not yet, at least. Uh, it is a store. So um, that's it. That's all I got for you. And until next time, everybody have a great day. Thanks.